Yeah, so why two degrees? Many people have grappled with that. Um, there, there are some possibilities that are scientifically based and there are more likely it's a political expediency thing. I mean, if you talk to policymakers, they will say we needed some aspirational target, which to scientists aspirational means you're not going to meet it, are you? But, but they actually mean to motivate people to do things and they wanted it to be nice and clean, so two degrees is a good number. Also, there was uh, some research done by people, including my colleague Jonathan Gregor, who's now at Reading, that suggested that um, when Greenland got to 2.7 degrees, it would melt and there would be ultimately, but slowly, seven meters of sea level rise, which would be catastrophic. And 2.7 degrees in Greenland is of order two degrees globally. It's a bit, it's actually a bit less than that. So I, some people think that the two degree target came from that. My suspicion is it was partly that, and it was partly a kind of thing that happened in politics, just a to and fro about this. You know, is it, is it, we're going to, I mean, some people would like it to be one degree. You think, well, how? And others are saying, well, it should be four or five degrees. So you end up with a tug of war and two degrees where it's stuck. There is no real scientific basis for it being exactly two degrees, of course. I mean, no one believes that the world's going to end at two degrees, but the risk goes up through time. So the question is, what degree of climate risk are we prepared to take? And that's a kind of, again, a subjective thing, but the policymakers at least have decided two degrees is what they want to avoid. But even at two degrees, I mean, that's still presumably going to cause significant Greenland ice melt. Uh, the Greenland thing, it, yes, it probably will. Um, if you're in low level, low lying islands, then they would say, what are you talking about dangerous climate change in the future for? It's happened, you know, we're getting flooded. So this is such a subjective thing. You go to Russia and Siberia, they would say, many would say, we'd like it a bit warmer, thanks very much. So this is not any by any means dangerous. Even in the UK, sometimes people say global warming, bring it on, you know. So um, I don't think, I don't think the issue of two degrees is, is very helpful anymore, even though it's the only thing we've got. Because the thing about motivational targets is they're only motivational when you believe you can meet them. As soon as you believe you can't, they become demotivational. So it's possible that in this COP or future COPs or in discussions around the COPs, they will start to think about whether they reframe that whole thing. It's a danger then that the whole policy backs off, but you can't get to the point where the target looks unachievable by the mechanisms being used to get there because then people just go, this is silly. The earth will warm by two to four degrees. We, we just can't nail it down any better than that. This, the science is fairly complicated. There are lots of things that happen to the carbon. So it's just a problem we have to live with, that we, we don't know whether it's two degrees or four degrees, or often to the future, whether it's four degrees or eight degrees.